waiting could be a lot frustrating. I know that. I've been there. I've done that. And uh, when you are waiting, you want to get your hands on anything which would give you the right information. And instead of asking people, uh, why not ask them directly? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hey, future Canadians. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to contact your ECA body for information. If you are in Canadian immigration process, then obviously your degrees are probably in Canada, uh, lying there, getting waiting for assessment, and you are waiting for a master's equivalency or whatever equivalency you are wishing for in your case. So during that time, obviously uh, waiting a lot could be frustrating. So how to contact your ECA body? In this video, I'm going to let you know about it. Let's come back after the promo. Waiting could be a lot frustrating. I know that. I've been there. I've done that. And uh, when you are waiting, you want to get your hands on anything which would give you the right information. And instead of asking people, uh, why not ask them directly? And maybe some people are not comfortable with the um, telephonic conversations. I made a video on that, how to contact them by telephone. But if you are not comfortable uh, uh, calling them and if you're not willing to talk to them comfortably, then obviously it suits your comfort and you could email them. And I'm going to give you all the email addresses of all the ECA bodies. So stay tuned for the full video. Right. So the point I'm trying to make in this video, if you if you want to contact your ECA body, you should not rely on one source. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I've already uploaded the video of calling them. You can call them. You could also email them like I'm going to show you in this video. And there's also a third process which I find very reliable. And um, if you have not watched these three videos, then obviously you need to check out my playlist of uh, ECA, where I talk about ECA, all about educational credential assessment. You need to check out that playlist and uh, you would be able to find all the three ways of contacting your ECA body for your questions. Yeah. So let's jump on to the presentation. Yeah. How to contact ECA bodies for information, educational credential assessment. And these are the email addresses of all the ECA bodies. I know that some of you would say that we could have found it on Google, but why have not you emailed them yet? Because you did not think about it. And this video will force you to, to think differently. Yeah. If, if you've sent your documents and if you're waiting uh, for that and uh, your evaluation is getting delayed as per your own calculation then why not email them and ask them directly that what's the problem guys what is expected out of me what should i do at the moment you should ask these questions to them directly because uh, uh, covid covid is a fluid situation as i say and the things are changing rip rapidly their, their procedures and their processes everything is changing rapidly sometimes they want you to email your uh, sometimes they want you to upload your documents on their portal. Sometimes they want you to send the sealed envelope to um, that ECA body. So uh, the, the whole process is changing. And uh, uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, then obviously you would be coming to know about all those changes as uh, the time goes by. So still, Still, if you if you were wondering how to email them, I have collected all the email addresses of the ECA bodies, like in the slide shown below. So these are the email addresses of your ECA bodies. Look for your ECA body in that and send them an email. Ask them your question and they would reply you. And if they still don't reply you, then obviously you've done your part and all you could do is wait. Right. So at the end, I want to encourage you all to follow all the three contact procedures that I have mentioned in my videos uh, because you cannot only just call them, you cannot only just email them. You have to do all these three things together. 
so that they know that you know you're in a rush <laughs> and uh, uh, many people have told me that they contacted ses comparative education service this they kept on sending them emails and uh, they kept on uh, giving them calls and it uh, proved to be fruitful for them and uh, their application was processed because of their activity so i recommend that you call them you email them you uh, you raise that web form and you do all these things because um, you need to make your move before the move is made on you what did i just say okay you need to move make the move before the move is made on you all right with these words this is alif takhar and i am signing off